hi friends welcome to programming languages for civil engineering students channel in this video i will explain you how to assemble the finite element equations to form the global or total equations okay this is applicable for all types of elements whether 1d elements 2d elements or three dimensional elements okay just let me take uh, a bar element okay let me take a bar element let me take a bar element having the length l and area of the cross section is a and x modulus is a, a e then what we have to do the first step is first step is first step one is we have to divide the bar into two equal parts let us say i am, I am dividing the bar into two equal parts okay two equal parts okay two equal parts you can see here this then i am giving the element numbers okay this is element number one and this is the element number one uh, element number two and this is length l1 and this is also length l1 then we have to give the node numbers we have to give node numbers okay this is uh, node one okay this is node two and this is node three okay let uh, let u1 u2 and u3 or the displacements at at displacements or the displacements at node 1 node 2 and node 3 okay let f1 f2 f3 or the forces at node 1 node 2 and node 3 okay node 3 respectively then general okay general finite element equation the finite element equation for one dimensional element having the two nodes you can see here this is the one dimensional element having the two nodes that is one and two nodes then finite element equation is f1 f2 is equal to a e by l a e by l into 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 okay then u1 and u2 okay this is the finite element equation for uh, finite element equation for uh, one dimensional bar element having the two nodes then we have to find uh, finite element equation for element number one and we have to find the finite, finite element equation for element number two okay let us see once again i will draw the figure you can okay this is bar element i divided i divided okay divide this is this is a bar element i divided it into two parts okay i i have given the noun okay element as first element and second element similarly this is the node number one this is the node number two and this is the node number three then finite element equation the finite element equation for element one element one is okay before that finite element the, the, the element one is connected by the nodes one and two okay therefore finite element equation for the element one is f1 f2 f1 f2 is equal to a e by l1 okay this is l1 and this is l1 okay into 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 to u1 and u2 okay this is nothing but finite element equation uh, for element number one okay for element number one then we have to give here not notations like this you can see here this film fillet, fillet, finite uh, element number one is connected with the nodes one two so we have to give here one two one one two like this okay then similarly finite element equation for finite element equation for element number two okay for element number two that is element number two is connected with the two nodes that is two three okay two three then f2 f3 
f2 f3 is equal to ae by l1 ae by l1 into 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 okay into u1 and u2 okay this is the finite element equation for element number 2 then we have to give the notations like this you can see then this uh, element number 2 is uh, connected with two nodes that is that is two second node and third node Th then therefore we have to give like this 2 3 and 2 3 like this okay then next step is then the next step is next step is what we have to assemble okay assemble the assemble the equation 1 and equation 2 assemble equation 1 and equation number 2 then how we, we have to assemble you can see you can see here f1 f2 f3 okay so we have to write f1 f2 f3 is equal to ae by ae by l1 and this is the matrix this is the matrix into u1 u2 and u3 okay then we have to find we have to assemble this global stiffness matrix means we have to assemble this and we have so assembled these uh, two element stiffness matrices okay let, let okay let us see how to assemble okay before that we have to give the node uh, uh, how many nodes you can see here this is the first node and this is the second node and this is the third node and this is the first second and the third node okay then we have to see what is the one one element okay what is the one one element in the equation one and our equation two what is the one one element you can see here one one element is one 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 element is one and one two element is one two element is here you can see here one two element okay that is first column and second row element is minus one then we have to give here minus one and one three element is there is no one three elements in this equation one or equation two so we have to put zero then two one element is you can see here this is a two one element in equation number one two one element okay here two one element is minus one so you have to write here minus one okay then two two element is you can see here we can see two two element in this equation number one and you, you can see uh, uh, the two two element in equation number two also you can see a two two element is this okay and here also two 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 element is this so we have to write here one plus one then two three element is we can see here two three element is in this equation number two we can see here two 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 element is minus one okay we have to write minus 1 and 3 1 element is there is no 3 1 element so we have to write 0 then 3 2 element is obviously the 3 2 element is you can see here 3 2 that is minus 1 minus 1 and the 3 3 element is obviously 3 3 element is this is the 3 3 element so we have to write here 1 we have to write here one okay this is the way to assemble the uh, finite element equations to form the global global equations this is nothing but global or total equation where this uh, uh, this column matrix is nothing but global force vector global force vector global force vector and uh, okay this uh, whatever you can see here this uh, uh, the stiffness matrix is nothing but global stiffness matrix it is it is it is denoted by capital k g capital k g and this u1 and u2 u3 matrix is nothing but global displacement vector or global displacement matrix okay global displacement matrix okay please remember while uh, was while after solving after solving the problem then we have to cross check whether our solution is right or wrong for that we have to check this global stiffness matrix should be symmetric and the number of columns number of column elements or number of uh, uh, number of row elements in each row in each column should be zero okay that is the criteria to check or to verify whether your answer is correct or not okay okay this is about uh, uh, how to assemble the finite element equations to form the total or global equations.
okay this uh, assemblage is applicable for bar element beam element truss element and uh, portal frames also okay okay this is all about uh, 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 this lecture okay anyway thank you for uh, watching this video thank you